Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna continue with more Mushroom Kingdom Fusion, and we're gonna get to the Black Switch Palace in this part. But first, a commenter pointed out in Intermezzo that there are actually uh, alternate paths. I took the, uh, apparently in the uh, checkpoint areas, each of those two goes leads to a different path. I kept taking the lower go uh, without even realizing it, so we're gonna run the level again, and this time we'll try all the high paths. <laughs> Just to see what they look like. Then we'll go over, uh... <laughs> then we'll go over the Black Switch Palace, as well as the, uh, issue with Sarah's Station, because it turns out there is no alternate path in Sarah's Station. I've been looking for one this whole time, played as every character running through the level. I bombed every wall as Samus, climbed every wall there as Ryu. And even with Sonic, I just raced through the level as fast as possible, thinking, oh, maybe there's a rocket ship like, uh, the one in the Snake Rattle and Roll level, Pibble Plateau, or the, uh, the triangle ship you find in... what was the word? The triangle ship we found recently in the Asteroid Belt level. But no, apparently there is no alternate exit added to... <laughs> Added to series distress. I've been looking all over for it and couldn't find it. I can stand here. They can't shoot me. It's the fire shield. I know uh, sometimes YouTube's uh, rendering doesn't show the fire shield or the other shields on Sonic and Tails. I can see them plainly, but I guess the frame rate or something on YouTube changes. <laughs> That's my guess. So if it doesn't look like I have the fire shield, I ha I have it right now. Oop. Want that bubble shield? There we go. <laughs> and I lose it immediately. Guess I should have kept shooting. <laughs> it's fine. All right, here's where we'll see our first uh, branching path. Because in this part, I kept taking the lower path. This time, we'll take the upper path and see if the level's different. Alright, got a couple of ships flying at me and shooting. Lost my fire shield and the bubble shield I tried to replace it with. Alright, I think this one was the uh, path from the, the original version of Inter Interstellar Assault. So we've seen this area before. Like that. Watch out for all the stuff flying at me. Again, I can't just stand and let them shoot at me. I can crouch to block shots as Sonic, but that makes the uh, Vic Viper fly down as well. So it's not really uh, much of a solution. Definitely gonna... Whoop. See, I've already uh, messed it up. <laughs> okay, yeah, these are the parts from the original Interstellar Assault level. If you take the upper path, whereas the lower path apparently leads to the new parts I explored. But we'll check all the upper paths. Maybe some of them are different. Careful now. Take the upper path again. Ooh, this is different. <laughs> We're on solar from Star Fox 64. <laughs> Can the big viper handle uh, temperatures of this magnitude, Slippy? This baby can take temperatures up to 9,000 degrees. What, 9,000? Thanks, Slippy. <laughs> Whoa, big fire. Big fire uh, waves coming. Got red coin number four. Wonder if I'll have to take on Andross's bioweapon at the end of this spot. <laughs> Probably not. That. Yeah, my 
fly down, Sonic will crouch, and when crouching, Sonic blocks bullets. Watch out for the big flame pillars coming out of the... out below me. <laughs> for those flames. <laughs> Things are slowing down a bit in this part. Yeah, this part wasn't in the original inter Interstellar Assault either, so... Yeah, I guess the pads uh, branch, just like uh, was said in the comments. Oh, watch out. <laughs> On fire, let's get out of there. Alright, next we'll go to the top again. See if this one's the same as uh, previously. This one looks familiar. Yeah, I think we've been to this part of the, the level before. Maybe not. I don't remember those uh, blocks being down there. Kind of look like they're made of ice. I'm assuming it's, you can stand on them. Yeah, you can. Watch it. <laughs> don't really need that fire shield. While it would protect me from their bullets, I've got two sci-fi shields, so we should be fine. Coin six. Grab twenty rupees. Oh, the blocks come up, come off and attack you. Gotta watch out for that. I think I know which ones will do it. If you watch closely, some of the blocks will start to yeah, like flash for a moment. Like they'll get a little brighter. Oh, I can shoot them. Kind of remind me of the tiles when they fly at you in Zelda. <laughs> Got another 20 rupees. Another 20. Oh, now they're throwing uh, icy blocks that kind of look like the Tetris blocks at me. Except that one. That one looks like a control pad. Oh, there's the long Tetris piece. <laughs> Maybe the 16-bit block from Parodius will fly at me. <laughs> Grab red point seven. Come to all the uh, different blocks. Just gotta avoid them. I'm guessing this wall's gonna come to life and attack. Yeah. Otherwise, how would I get past it? <laughs> there we go. So that area was different. Apparently, this one only has one path. Okay, this leads to where we were before the boss. And we've seen this part already in the in the last video, so we'll skip ahead to uh, the Black Switch Palace next. All right, since we can't get to the uh, Black Switch Palace through normal means, we'll have to get there by another way. Go to the options menu. We're going to turn on debug mode. Continue. I'm going to push I. That'll bring up this little hand that I control with my mouse cursor. If I click here, I can move Mario onto this spot. Now I move left to the warp gate, and now we can reach the Black Switch Palace. Turn off uh, debug mode real quick. And we'll make our way here. But yeah, like I said, I searched everywhere for... Apparently there's lower gravity in the Black Switch Palace. I searched everywhere for an alternate exit that I'm pretty sure... Oops, I immediately fall. <laughs> I was too focused on thinking of my words. We'll try again, it's no big deal. But yeah, I was... I looked everywhere in uh, Sarah's Distress for the... For the missing... <laughs> For the missing, uh, key exit. Let's hurry up and get up here. I gotta go faster than that. I'm already botching this. <laughs> Alright, try again. Right now, it kind of looks like the, uh, same kind of thing that was... 
Kinda reminds me of one of the areas from one of the older uh, World 9 levels. Had a similar area like this where you had to use peace switches to create platforms. Out of my way. There we go. Watch out for that flying thing. <laughs> Get on the moving platform. Another one I gotta jump to. There we go. <laughs> I botched that uh, a lot, but I pulled it off on the third try. There's one more thing I want to show off on this part. First I'll go ahead and buy a soldier suit. Buy the Marco suit for Mario. Then we're gonna head into level 16, the Infested Station, which got an update. This was the last uh, of the updated levels according to the lists. The Terran Station has been infected by the Red Falcon aliens, and it looks like the Flood are here too. So yeah, we've been to this level before, and it's fairly unchanged, but from what I understand, there's a new boss of the level we're gonna check out. Oh, we're on the level see if I see anything, notice anything different. Can't shoot him with my uh, gun on Mario here. Nope, he's kind of blocked off. Throw one of these at the big mouth. Here, take this. <laughs> there we go. Good old Mario 2 lifting and throwing works. First red coin up there. Looks like there's two paths, one leading up and one leading down. There's a crush gun up here. Grab it. There's red coin two, which makes me wonder what's even the point of the lower path. <laughs> Run past here. Red gun. Blood. Looks like I can stomp the red infector form and kick it at enemies. Let's grab the Mario 2 mushroom. Spread gun here. If that doesn't work, we'll just pick these guys up and throw it. There we go. Get myself a Spartan armor. And yeah, there's another one. Again, the branching paths are here. The one down there leads to where the, uh, the Zerg are. As the one way of the further right leads to more uh, of the level based on what we saw already. We'll head down the Zerg path past two of these guys. Here's a trick you can do with the sci-fi suit. Walk him into him on purpose and throw the thing up and it'll hit it a bunch of times for a lot of damage. There we go. Here, throw it up. Lost the sci-fi armor that time. But it can be done without losing it. There's a machine gun that left me here. <laughs> that was a... Uh... It's called Hydralisk? No. I forget which uh, thing it's called. There's the Infested Marine. I know the uh, Warlock's Fellhound in World of Warcraft is kind of based on it. I can't remember its name off the top of my head for some reason, so I think the text will cover it. A Mutalisk or something. Probably still wrong. Big thing up here, that's a Hydralisk. All those brute crawly guys. Which, you know, totally look like one of the uh, facehugger aliens from Alien. <laughs> Spread gun to take out the infested marine. 
crush gun if I need it. And they now actually shoot an acid spray rather than just a green plasma bolt. So that's new. Actually, instead of a crush gun, I can throw a grenade to kill the Hydralisk. There we go. Just jump over you. They don't come back unless they touch a wall. Some of those acid bubbles. There's four rupees down there. <laughs> Red coin. Try to crush gun with Hydra Risk. Good. There's a soldier suit from one of the uh, flying uh, things that gives you power ups. Those come from Contra. There we go. We'll kick those guys over there. Grab Red Coin 7 over here on the left. But yeah, if you come from the uh, other path, that left area is where you come into this area from. <laughs> spread gun. Grab the Super C spread gun. <laughs> oh boy. Back up. Yeah, this is the part where we get attacked by a whole lot of the flood. So watch out for that. There we go. Clear the way for me, little infector form. <laughs> a lot of stuff coming now. Oh boy. <laughs> Laser. Aha! To get the three up moon, I just take this guy up. Ride him like an elevator. <laughs> To stomp out some of these enemies. Now this thing will send endless flood infectors, so if we stand here and shoot the laser, we can shoot him from safety. And when we're done, we laser them, him. Now we can check out the new boss. So yeah, here's the new boss of the level. It's a flood-infested version of the final boss from Contra 3, The Alien Wars. So what happens is it'll have all these different things that pop out of it, and each of them becomes a different uh, obstacle you have to avoid while attacking the boss. So like this one, it comes out as a giant snake that circles around. Let's try another. Okay, it drops a bunch of bombs bombs turn into those acid bubbles. Yeah, this was basically the boss of Contra 3 and how it worked. This one throws the uh, spike ball. Sometimes it would throw weapons and such too. I noticed this time it has all like blood infected versions of its weapons that it makes you choose from. Let's grab the Contra spread gun. I got to make the spikes again. Yeah, it used to drop uh, bombs and weapons, too, that you could use on it in this phase in Contra 3. Here, it just looks like weapons uh, spawn in randomly. So we'll grab a laser. Alright, that's the bomb. We'll drop down, yeah. We have the acid bubbles in them. Spartan armor. What's this one do? Oh, that's what he does. He becomes a bomb and blows up. Well, I managed to dodge it. He sent out a bunch of flood enemies at me. He's gonna do it again. There we go. <laughs> now, in the last phase, he starts uh, sending, uh, dropping random flood eggs. <laughs> Gave me a mushroom. Like that. And it starts dropping pieces of itself that turn into flood uh, forms. There's another one. 
Okay. This one's kind of like one of its uh, original attacks from uh, Contra 3, where it gives itself a big uh, barrier that you can shoot through to damage it. I had the bombs, but I killed him before he could use them. <laughs> uh, neat, he actually uh, goes out the same way as he does in Contra 3 too. <laughs> they dropped me another laser. Not that I needed it. Interestingly enough, one of the levels that was blocked off was uh, Wart's Nightmare. I actually came here on a different save file, thinking maybe I could uh, get to it using... find the alternate exit to... the Sarah's Distress level, but... No, even then, on a new save file, it didn't exist. But there's a block right here where I'm moving Mario back and forth that says you have to clear World 5 before you can get here, which makes sense, since the boss is the Flood-Infected Cacoberto, which we fought before. So let's wrap up by going after this uh, battle level. There's another one. Looks like it's uh, the Zerg. Give me the uh, plasma device. The plasma discharge unit from uh, Blink Stone. It looks like it's a bunch of different aliens. There's the eyeball throwing monster from Duke Nukem 2. There's an infested marine from StarCraft. Let's fire the plasma till we get him. Yep. Hydralisk. Might have been an Ultralisk I'm thinking of now that I think about it. Like I said, the text will probably have already covered what the smaller one is. It's either a Mutalisk or an Ultralisk. It's easy, in. Check him out. There's the uh, Ultralisk, uh, whatever it's called. Stomp him. The big flying uh, thing is from Earthworm Jim. Stomp it down. Meant to throw the grenade at the uh, infested marine. There we go. Got the eyeball tosser. Got one more grenade over here, which we'll use on the hydralisk. Or it'll explode just short of it. Hope I got a weapon that can defeat it, otherwise, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> this tomato will work. Apparently I can't go under this uh, platform. Makes sense, I suppose. I didn't leave any other uh, weapons over here. Grenades, but those won't make it in time. And not if the grenade I picked up and threw didn't do it. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just run back over here. Dodge its attack. Throw the tomato at it. I tried to use the energy sword, but can't quite reach it. Alright, back and forth of the tomato it is. That one. Alright. One up or something over here. There it is. And from there is the world boss of Zebes. So, yeah. In the next part, we'll go back to uh, World 1. We'll check out all the areas with the blocks with these black switch palaces in it. Because there's probably some new levels as well as some updated levels in those. So, yeah, that'll be the next part of the playthrough. So once again, I'd like to thank you for watching. I'll see you for the next video.